like he's just exhausted. Where's he go, Pout? I'm sure. Where is he? Is he hooked funny? What have we got? There he is. Oh, you thought that was long. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, he wanted to eat this morning. There he comes. What is he? Uh, what am I seeing? He might be. What am I seeing? Oh, I think he's. Oh, no. he's a little bigger. He's hooked in a way that I can't grab his. Uh... There we go. Oh, oh that's a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out fishing on sag today, and it's been a good day so far. We got four trout right off the bat, um, and some pretty shoddy camo work by me. So I'll put some photos up here if that didn't turn out. It is blowing like crazy. If you step outside the fishing shelter, you just get blown away. But it's a beautiful day. It's uh, Wednesday. February 5th and it is sunny and like 20 degrees so we'll take it there we go right a little more weight here oh yeah oh yeah a lot more weight whoa no he's not not the same man Again and again and again with these same size fish. Yeah, he was a uh, he was an aggressive little guy at first. Hooked right on the nose. Nice sag lake trout. Whoa, he's going back. Number six. They're all the same size. Yeah, I thought. For sure. This rock should be a familiar sight for uh, people who've gone to Missing Link. We're out skiing. We're heading to Tuscarora just for a, for a day ski here. And it is a beautiful Saturday, February 8th. Um, we're busting through a few inches of snow on top of a really nice packed trail. So it's super easy going. Missing link. There's the remnants of the trail, and that's where we're coming from. Uh, it's still really easy going. We're at the missing link to Tuscarora Portage. Ada's starting in, and I'll be right behind her, and we'll see. It's it's been pretty easy going so far. Sometimes you just gotta walk. Here's the rock wall on the portage of Tuscarora, and travel conditions are perfect, uh, as good as they could be for skis. Sometimes you gotta walk some more. It's really not too bad. This is only the second time we've had to take our skis off. Um, so far and we're we're over halfway there we're almost there uh, we're starting to go downhill and far off in the distance here you can see a little bit of Tuscarora Lake we made it Tuscarora Lake, first time this winter, and to be honest, probably the last time this winter too. Well, we're out on uh, we're out on our namesake, Tuscarora, we're right at the mouth of the bay. Uh, the portage from Missing Link is right there. 
and it's pretty drifted in in terms of snow. There's about a foot of snow in this area and the farther we get out into the lake the less snow there is. There's um, a little bit of slush underneath it like maybe an inch or two. Nothing terrible but it's um, you know be a good idea to have some snowshoes for this portion. Uh, even the skis like this um, you sink in quite a bit. It's quite a bit of work and if I was pulling the sled it would be a lot harder but um, overall can't complain. It is pristine out here. No one's out here. There's no tracks. The uh, trails closer to uh, the, the uh, portage there there's a trail that comes off the landing but you lose it immediately once you get out into this drifted snow so now the real work begins heading back towards missing link going up this hill and the skis are coming off well we're at the top of the first climb um, out of Tuscarora and don't let it intimidate you it's it's pretty steep but it really is short it probably took us like two minutes to get to the top. Moose tracks. Moose tracks in the trail. There he goes. We're almost there. One slate up and then down and then we're at Missing Link. Here we are, back to Missing Link. We're right off Missing Link onto the Missing Link Portage towards uh, Round Lake. And this is the best part because it is downhill the entire way. So super easy. come in tandems here. Yeah. Oh, I lost them. Shoot, I knew I didn't get a good hook set. There we go. You got it. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of weight here. Too loose now. <laughs> Not ready to come up yet. Oh! Oh, he's just barely hooked. Grab a rod for a sec. Yep. Just hold on. I got it. it. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to flip. He's not happy. <laughs> by a dog. <laughs> Hard to say how big this fish is. Oh. <laughs> Slurry the ling cod. <laughs> it's a nice burbot for up here. Whoa, get away from the heater, buddy. Let's not toast yourself. Nice eel pout. Whoa. Back you go. What a beautiful Friday afternoon, evening almost. We're out doing some fishing. Um, it was it snowed a little bit this morning, or last night, and we're, we're getting some snow on the lake, at least the big parts of the lakes have a little more snow again, we're out on sag, and there's, oh, six, seven inches, maybe, of snow, and um, no slush right where we are, but I imagine that 
some areas have slushed up a little bit, but we haven't seen anything too bad unless it's on a small lake or in a, you know, a small bay or something like that. Big parts of the lakes have been windswept and pretty good. So, so far so good.